Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mario and this is Go I Sibling Rivalry. So recently you may have seen me test out a new air fryer, the Gourmet, that I purchased at Costco. Well, GoWise reached out to me and uh, said, hey, we see your air fryer from GoWise. It looks well loved. We would like to send you our new model for testing. And uh, I agreed. Uh, it was provided at no cost to me, so that's the disclaimer here. But I've had really good luck with my current GoWise, so I expect nothing less from this new model. So uh, stick around and let's see how it goes. So I still have the old box I used to put things in, you know, little gadgets and whatnot. I was supposed to get the newer model with the rounded top with the controls on top. That's not what they sent me. Um, however, this model is still available on Amazon. It is a slightly new generation than this one here. Uh, most of this seems the same. Uh, I don't see much difference. This has a pre-cooked settings versus the old one has seven. They're even using the same uh, background foods and whatnot. Okay, it's always exciting to open a new toy, and this is no exception. Got a manual here. It does come in several different colors. I've seen these on Amazon range anywhere from $80 to $130. There it is. So let's unwrap this plastic here. You'll see that the power supply does not store in the base. I was hoping that they would have made some sort of an upgrade. It's a common feature I've seen on some of the newer ones. I know Philips does it and a couple of the other odd brands. The panel is all blacked out. You don't see the uh, little buttons and timer pieces that you do on the current model I have. Okay, here's the pan, and I already see one of the improvements they made over the old one, and I'll show you what it is. As you can see, the old and new pan are pretty much identical. In fact, I could take my old pan and put it in the new air fryer, or the new one put it in the old. It's just some cosmetic changes on the outside. Uh, they both have the lever you push forward, you press the button, and the pan comes out. So let's do that to both of them. This one has a slightly shallower button but injects just the same. What I want to show to you is the difference in the pan. They look the same, right? But on close inspection, you'll see that the new model has this little rubber bumper here. Why is that important? Well, I'll tell you why. When you put this pan in and it's bouncing up and down, it actually damages and scratches the pan. As you can see here, this is actually a fairly new pan but it's got the scratch marks here, here, and down here. That should help the longevity of the coating inside the pan, but usually the problem comes in with the tray itself, or the basket, we should say. Um, it does look of the same design, so I'm gonna assume that uh, this may run into some of the same issues that we've seen in the past with the style basket. If we look at the sides of these, you'll see it's the same design. So I can only hope that they've made some other improvements to keep this from loosening up over time. Um, what I did see, and on the new new model that they have that they didn't send me, that I thought that that's what they were sending me according to their uh, message, the new model has a, a wider mounting flange with three bolts. However, um, we are gonna start uh, using this thing. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna clean this out. I'm gonna season this pan. I'll leave a link in the description below on seasoning the pan and we'll be right back. Here's another thing worth mentioning, at least for myself. If you look at the design, this is a, a plastic top and it's flat. So if you turn it sideways, you'll see it's a flat surface. With this one, it has an angle and it has this, uh, I don't know, chromed top. Um, it does get fingerprint smudges on it, wipes clean pretty easily. Uh, it could get scratched up, but again, it has a slight slant. And the reason why I bring that up is when I'm not using the air fryer, I might stick a can of something on top or a box or whatever. And I've even actually even stuck my tablet on top of here while I was filming other things because it makes a great stand when it's cool, of course. With this one, while the can doesn't slide off, it's more likely to. 
this will probably not bother the majority of people. However, um, I like the idea of the flat plastic top. I think overall it's more durable than this tin top here. What would a test be without cooking some food? So let's slice up some potatoes. Let's get these in a bowl, rinse them, and let them soak. I want to spare you the time it took to cut this up, but I am going to show you one. But basically, I cut the little tip off the wing, and then I cut the wings in half to separate the wing from the drumlet, I'll call it. And this gets tossed away. You could also use those to make a soup. I have my rinsed and patted dry potatoes. Those are going to be thrown right in there. I'm going to season them all together. I'm going to season these the way I normally do. I'm going to use some extra virgin olive oil. Just need a couple of tablespoons. You don't need much. Remember, an air fryer is little to no oil. Add in my pink Himalayan salt. Add in the pepper. Got some granulated garlic. And lately I've liked throwing in the smoked paprika. It's up to you, but you can add some rosemary leaves. Usually I only add it to drumsticks, but I'll add a little bit in here. Now make sure this gets mixed up nice and good. Should have used a bigger bowl. Okay, let's load up the baskets. So I'm gonna pop the baskets in. Gonna hit the power button on both. Go through the manual settings. Fries at 20 minutes. And this one does fries at 15 at 400 degrees. I'm not sure why they're showing lower temperature on the newer model, but maybe they feel that that's sufficient. You know, they fine tune it along the way. You know, specifications may change. Uh, that's pork, both at 370, 15 minutes and 25 minutes. Again, big change there. Shrimp, 330, shrimp 330. So they're both 330, the time-wise, 15 minutes and 20 minutes. Cake, we have 30 minutes and 350 and 320. I'm probably gonna believe the 320. I think that's a better temperature. I have cooked cake in here before. Uh, I did little bunt cans. And go on to the drumsticks. And one of my favorite things, drumsticks. They're both showing 20 minutes. This one 380, that one 400. So again, they're changing things. Steak, 25 minutes. 370 here for 20 minutes. So again, this may be based on feedback. I can't imagine they would change it otherwise. And then we got fish. We got 330 here at 20 minutes. Here we have 25 minutes at 370. Again, very different from each other. And this would be pizza. So this one does not have a, a pizza setting, but here they have pizza, 330 at 20 minutes. Now these are conveniences. This isn't saying you have to use it. If you have a specific temperature in mind, you can go through and do that. But I just wanted to point that out. Otherwise, you could see, again, very different temperature ranges and times for both of these units. The backlight on this did turn off by itself. Um, one thing you'll know about these air fryers is if you pull out the tray before it's finished cooking, when you push it back in, it'll start back up again. Uh, I don't know if that's the case for this model yet. The other thing you'll notice here is there's a little timer button. This is actually a reminder, and that's a great upgrade, because with this one, if you forgot and you didn't flip your food, you might be in a little bit of trouble, so I would set the microwave or stove timer. Here you could set the timer, and I believe it's in five minute increments, up to 15 minutes, and that should be fine. It's just a reminder, and I think that's a great new addition. So let's take out these pans, spray them down. Nice new pan, spray that down. And I'm going to do equal amounts of chicken in each one as well as fries. And now we'll throw some fries in each. Okay, let's get these in there. I am pulling these forward because I do want it away from the backsplash. And we're going to do this on a manual timer. I'm going to set this to 400. 15 minutes is fine. Do this to 400. See that? There's a little bit of difference here. Pop that back in. It is not allowing me to change the settings. So it looks like I have to pause it. That's a pause button. Raise the temperature. The time looks fine. So apparently you cannot change the time or temperature without hitting this pause button. That's interesting. 
I am going to set this again you cannot set this little timer here so let's unpause it and set it for 10 minutes and continue good bad and different I don't know if I like that yet because I like making changes on the fly and hitting the pause button might be an annoyance for me I understand why they did it if you're new to it they may not want somebody to accidentally push a button but we'll see you in 10 minutes okay let's give these a check let me go in 10 minutes the timer didn't go off yet probably because I started it a little late here you see this one that's ready to flip. and this one more or less the same so let's get these flipped and we'll be back I'd actually like to see them add uh, a separate timer display so you can see the temper timer at the same time I know it's not a big deal but I think that would be a cool addition okay this is powered off I heard the heating element turn off so it actually just uh, keeps this fan circulating heat off that's actually not bad it's, uh, energy that would normally be wasted and heat build up got some nice cooked I like my fries as I've mentioned a little crisper on the shell got that there I'm gonna do something that somebody mentioned um, looking at these it looks like the newer one actually has a little more cook on it I'm actually gonna maybe throw some uh, honey barbecue on some of these brush them on and kind of try to glaze them inside the air fryer I'll probably regret the mess it's gonna make but for you I do it and I'll let this heat up for a couple of minutes and then I'll turn it again minutes it's gonna get some used to this thing is uh, making up my mind for me buttons are uh, not as sensitive either it seems gonna hit them square okay let's take these out flip them and glaze the other side the honey barbecue is getting a nice glaze on it maybe I should have glazed more than a couple that's all right turn them both first and then I'll worry about recording them still having to get used to the way this panel works okay pull these out push them back give us a little room look here these look really nice I can smell the uh, caramelization on these this pan feels really sturdy I have to say I know my old ones been beat a lot over the year I think it's because the it's not as worn but uh, maybe they did strengthen it up in here so I'm happy about that don't forget to unplug the air fryer folks there we go now everything aside these are gonna taste the same I cooked them the same way same air fryer cosmetically they're different couple of things on the new one the control panel the lockout the way it works right now it's annoying me but it's just something muscle memory compared to my old one the new one does have that pizza setting now if you use an air fryer a lot those presets you probably don't even use them it's there for quick settings for the new person who doesn't know uh, there are charts you can look at that give you nice comparisons but uh, I'm gonna try some food The fries in the newer one are a little crisper. That could be for a number of reasons. This is uh, from the newer one. URHC said, hey, why don't you uh, glaze those in there? This is the first time I've glazed them with any type of sauce in the air fryer, and it does make a difference in taste. Very good.
Ooh. That's hot. <clears throat> it does seem overall the newer unit uh, did cook it faster. Again, they look identical everywhere. I just have to assume maybe the circulator motor uh, is moving more air more efficiently. The pan sitting slightly higher than the old one because it's new, it's stiff and rigid. Or maybe just the heating element in the old one, you know, was dirty and it's not heating up and putting that heat down as well. Can't deny the results though. Glazed chicken. I'm gonna use some hot sauce later too. Um. Anyway, a couple of points from earlier. Um, I didn't get the model I was expecting. I reached out to Go Wise during the filming of this and mentioned it to them, and they are gonna make it right. They've been really good. They're going to uh, swap out the unit, so that's good, or send a replacement unit. Um, that model, I talked to them, is still current. They have no intention of discontinuing that anytime soon, they told me. So that model is still available, and it's cheaper now than when I originally bought the first unit. So you're getting an even better deal. Um, they improved the pan, as mentioned. They got that little silicone rubber stopper and the power excel did the same thing and that's going to increase the longevity of the pan from getting damaged and peeling from the scratches the basket we'll have to wait and see uh, my original basket lasted a long time and then it started to get a little beat up it's the way it is those are expendable type items uh, and that's it anyway if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing i have links in the description for everything i've used in the kitchen also links to my facebook instagram and twitter account if you want to join those you can see what i'm cooking day to day because i only put out the videos once a week or so and uh we'll see you on the next one thanks a lot hello everyone and welcome i'm mario and this is Go Wise Siblo Rival. Revival me.